welcome in today you guys today is another new makeup releases video where we're talking about all of the stuff that is launching has already launched what is interesting me what i'm gonna pick up what is absolutely ridiculous etc i did this video last week and i even mentioned that i wasn't sure if i was going to be able to keep it up it is something that i used to do on my channel when i first started but i got away from it because i couldn't stick to it but i am going to try and stick it out now because i do really enjoy these videos they're just fun to film and talk about so let's hop right into it. I am literally picking up where I left off from last week. Danessa Myricks is coming out with a groundwork palette. This one is conversely like a blush toned palette where the last one was more browns, more bronzer shades. This one is with mauves, pinks, berries. Both of these are a multi-use talc-free palette with velvety pomades and coordinating oil absorbing shaping powders that easily define eyes, brows, cheeks, and lips. It is retailing for $65. I do not know when it's launching. It just says coming soon on their website in Sephora. I don't know if I'm gonna get this. Like I didn't pick up the other one. I'm so not into like makeup artistry palettes like this where they have multiple uses. It's just personally not something that I find myself getting a ton of uses out of. Someone in the comments is like, I hope we eventually get a blue green palette. I'm literally screaming, I can't wait. The first groundwork palette has me in a chokehold. Someone else said, I'm still not convinced that Danessa is human. She is straight up a saint set by makeup gods. <laughs> Someone else said, and this is why she is queen. Okay, I don't disagree that these are like fabulous. If you're somebody who really likes to use these for the purposes of being an all-in-one palette, again, I just, I don't find myself finding use out of this. So I feel like for $65 is kind of a high price point for me to spend my money on just to review if I'm not going to really get any use out of it. But who knows? I don't know yet. This, I, this is a question mark maybe. The next one is Dolce & Gabbana is coming out with some new makeup releases. It looks like an eyeshadow palette and seven different 24 hour lasting waterproof liners. The eyeshadow palette retails for $89. It's supposed to be a multi-finish eyes and cheek palette. 12 shades with different finishes encased in chic black and gold monogram packaging inspired by the DG logo bag with a detachable chain mirror and double-ended brush applicator. I have to say like the color story of the palette looks amazing. The packaging looks freaking ridiculous. Like this looks so over... I mean, there's a lot of extra space here. And I don't think I've tried anything from Dolce & Gabbana, so I don't know if this would be like decent quality or something worth picking up. The color story just looks insane though. And honestly, these shimmers look foiled and amazing that I did think about getting this. I wanna know in the comments below what you guys think of launches like this. Like, is this just overkill? Like this big old chain? <laughs> or does this look like something that might actually be pretty good quality. I don't know. And this has come out and people have already posted about this. This is the new Hyper Natural Face Palette that as I'm filming this, this already came out on February 23rd on I think Sephora and Ulta's website. I think she launched it a couple of days ahead of time on her website and so I did end up picking it up from her website and I think it's supposed to come today. So I'm going to be filming with this tomorrow and hopefully I'm able to air it on Tuesday the 27th, I think is the date. It includes eyeshadow, blush duo, bronzer, contour trio that features four new hyper silk powder gel formula eyeshadows infused with hydrating ingredients named after moods and occasions that can be used individually or together and one sparkling topper. With a creamy powder, bronzer and contour trio and blush duo, it's $62. I have never picked up any one of her other face palettes. They've just never called to me, but for whatever reason, this one just called to me. I think Natasha's formula is so user-friendly and so everyday wearable. You don't have to worry if you're gonna sit down and play with a shadow that's gonna be a little bit harder to work with. I feel like her stuff just performs. So I did pick this up. Again, I told you guys, it I it just called to me. I think it's calling to a lot of people. There is just a ton of comments. In the drugstore world, Juvia's Place launched I Am Magic Glow Radiance Booster for $25 in what appears to be 11 different shades. They also launched a Ready Set Sealed setting spray for $18. 
Um, you know, these radiance boosters are like all the rage. It seems like everyone is coming out with their version of it. Kind of like what Charlotte started. So many companies are doing radiance boosters. I just feel like we're getting inundated with radiance boosters that I just don't use that often. It would be different if I wasn't somebody who liked a mattifying foundation or just a more full coverage foundation. Something that was lighter where I feel like this would show up. I, I just I don't find any real use in it anymore even the one from say that I used to use all the time I would mix it in with my foundations I just I don't do that anymore with combo oily skin so I am passing on both of these the setting spray does look really good but I almost never use setting sprays anymore either so so for me this is a pass um yeah just it's a pass and then there's a new collab from nails Inc and McDonald's Oh, you know, it's it's even like it's kind of fun when we get to these points where I just don't know what the hell <laughs> is going on in the world. I like immediately am drawn to the comments. Cute, but we still boycotting. I guess they are desperate to make some money after losing so much. Better luck next time. Hard pass. Who wants McDonald's nails? It's giving April Fools. I'm so sick of food companies mixing with beauty. It's just going straight to TJ Mac Max and nobody is going to buy it either. I just want to know when these executives are in a boardroom meeting coming up with ideas, do they even consider what the consumers want? I have never in my life thought, I want <laughs> meat patty brown and ketchup red nail polish in a set of burgers and fries decals. I literally get a kick out of this. So the nail polish is just like a color? And then you just get the decals separately. Yeah, that's basically what it is. Literal nail polish with just decals. The nail polish and sticker duo, $8.99 for the burger one. The fries one, $8.99. I'm loving it. Gold heart nail topper, same thing. And I speak French is $6.99. Oh, it also includes 30 medium almond shaped artificial nails in the classic nude shade. Okay, um, hail to the no. I mean, I don't disagree with like anything anyone is saying in the comments. Like. Why? I mean, why would you even do this? What is the purpose of collaborating with McDonald's? I mean, just because McDonald's is successful is because they have tasty food doesn't mean shit. Like, why do you want to have this on your nails? Is anyone going to walk around like this? I f hope not. I'm just, I'm not into the food with beauty. I mean, mm, no. You guys, there's, there's some things in the world that they do in terms of collaborations that are kind of cute. And then there's just some shit where I'm like, we're fucking bored out of our minds. We're bored. We're, we're so bored. That's how we came up with this nonsense. I'm just not that bored in my life. Uh, absolutely not. Nope. And then Lights Lacquer is coming out with a new collection. It's the What's Your Fantasy collection. It's really cute. It's already come out. It's come out on February 21st. These are like sparkly polishes. Yeah, I've never tried this, but I have been tempted to test out the Lights Lacquer. But you guys, I did gel like the other day because I'm so rough on my hands. But nail polish, nail polish, it comes off on me in like five minutes because I'm extremely rough with my nails. I honestly feel like I have drawers full of nail polishes that never get used. That buying more nail polishes is for me is just like, I don't know, it's kind of a waste. Where I feel like some people say, they would last like two weeks on their nails. For me, I feel like it would last two days. That's basically all I get out of it. And then Milk Makeup is launching the Kush Hydrating Sheer Tinted Lip Oil, $26, and it is coming in six different shades. I think it launches today, maybe the 25th. And they come in different flavors. So it even says there's a kush for whatever you're craving. What's your flavor? I mean, they're they're calling out the flavors on this. Green Dragon, Sage and Peppermint, Pink Magic, Watermelon. You guys see, oh, they have cookie dough. Oh shit, they're, oh, this is, oh, Milk, you're smart. You are smart. I honestly, I wanna know when we got to the point where like we started calling out flavors. Cause I mean, have we been doing this the whole time and I just haven't noticed? I knew we were calling scents, but I didn't know we were calling it flavors. See, that's how they're getting me. Cause it, you know, we are tasting it, right? Like it, it tastes good on the lips. How could I not get at least Tahitian vanilla? 
Ooh, the orange crush. I love citrus, you guys. Anyway, it's a sheer non-sticky tinted oil made with hydrating oils that deliver an intense hit of hydration and shine for smoother, full, fuller looking lips. Has a subtle juicy flavor and cushiony texture, 26 bucks. I don't know, I'm getting two. My drawer full of other lip oils will tell you, don't use us instead. But um, how can I not? cookie dough flavored milk how dare you and then tarte has already released these they're joining the maracuja juicy family a new formula with three finishes it's the vinyl the juicy lip vinyl it's the glossiest shiniest juiciest formula drenches lips in a slick wet looking finish soft blurring effect minimizes the look of lip lines always comfy never sticky it is 10 plus super fruits that nourish it's vegan and cruelty free 26 dollars a piece I, I have every one of these formulas and I'm hyper tempted to pick one of these up in at least like one shade, you guys. Oh, they look so freaking juicy, so juicy and shimmery. I probably am gonna get one shade, at least one shade, because I have one shade in the other formulas already, so yeah. And then Lisa Eldridge, the one she teased us with last week, this is already launched. It is Kitten Flick Liquid Eyeliner for 32 and Kitten Lash Mascara for 36. Lisa Eldridge is on my list of brands I want to try in 2024. This mascara looks fantastic. It looks like a wand I would absolutely love. Right up my alley. Fluffy fanned out lashes. Lightweight formula that creates soft and bouncy lashes. Yes, water resistant. So this looks like something I would want. The eyeliner not so much, but I feel like I'll... I don't think I'm going to get this right away. I don't think this is something that I want to test as like a new release necessarily. I just wanna try Lisa Eldridge and when I do, I'll probably pick up the mascara and maybe the liner. I don't know yet. The liners, I don't need more liners, but I'm always into testing new mascaras. So, so I might pick this up. And then Dior has launched the Dior Forever Glow Star Filter. I don't know why that was so hard for me to say. And this is liquid highlighting concentrate. So it's enhancing fluid. This looks again, just kind of like another kind of mix in product an illuminator basically it comes in 10 shades for $55 and then the liquid highlighter the glow maximizer is $45 in six different shades again don't think I want to get the luminizer I love the the shade range though for a luxury brand I think it's really good the highlighter however looks fantastic and I also love the shade range and the highlighter and I'm a really big fan of Dior Overall, I think they're one of mm, my favorite luxury brands. Someone else says, has the Charlotte Tilbury patent expired? It's like every other brand has been releasing their own version lately. Yeah, kind of what I said. Someone else said, any company can make a tinted glow serum. Kind of once you have one, I feel like you have a lot, you know? I don't know. These illuminators just don't appeal to me to need 300 in my collection like blushes do. There, there's just some things that really make me want. Every single release that comes out, these illuminators just aren't it for me. But the liquid highlight looks amazing, so I might pick that up. Then Kylie Cosmetics is launching her first fragrance. Will be available March 7th. That's all we know. I don't buy anything from Kylie Cosmetics, so nope. And I guess we should mention this, the Sephora Savings event is coming April 5th through April 15th. Uh, they'll update all info soon, but that's basically all we see. I'm pretty sure it's gonna be the same thing. Rouge members will go a certain number of days in the beginning, etc. And then Valentino is launching a new cushion foundation in the Go Cushion Green Compact. It's a compact cushion foundation with a creamy formula for medium to buildable coverage and lightweight skin feel, breathable texture, and 24 hour wear for a radiant matte finish and instantly perfected complexion. The compact looks amazing. The promo picture is hilarious. It's a giant compact with her like sitting on top of it with a beautiful green dress. Um, I haven't used a compact foundation in years and I have not found anything from Valentino that I've fallen in love with yet. I have tried their like lip blush, absolutely hated it. Went into I think my worst of beauty for 2023. Not, not for me personally. Their concealer also sank into my fine lines, wasn't my favorite. Didn't try the foundation, just haven't fallen in love with the brand yet. Haven't met a release that I absolutely loved. So yeah, I think, I think no, I think no on this. And then Essence is launching some new brushes and tools, face, eyes, brows, lash curler, makeup sponge, eyelash, 
eyelash comb and more. Don't know if I've ever tried a brush from Essence. These look pretty good though. The only thing is right now, it doesn't say how much they're gonna cost like at all. Maybe I did try one brush from Essence. That's right, one eye brush and I hated it. So I don't know how good a quality it's gonna be. And then CXC Beauty, hopefully I'm saying that correctly, is launching a new palette. I wanna say it's already come out. Here it doesn't say but it's the out of luck palette where mystic greens and earthy blacks meet the luxurious sheen of champagne uh, so much so much here it's the elusive promise of a leprechaun's gold okay that that's the sum of it 59 bucks this is a beautiful green toned palette the artwork is stunning haven't tried anything from cxc beauty so i'm gonna pass on this i don't need an all green palette at the current moment but if i did that's where i'd start Okay, there's a ton more to go. Let's move on. Black Moxie Cosmetics is coming out with a new makeup sneak peek. I see nothing, but the colors look to die for. Like if the colors are what's going on in this picture, I don't know, I might just get it because it looks good. All it says is link to our website in bio. I did go to their rec website just because of this picture to like check out what they've got going. They don't have much on there, but whatever this launch is on March 29th, I don't know. I'm definitely interested in seeing what it is, but let's move on. And then Charlotte Tilbury is coming out with a new skincare release. It just says confidential. Uh, her skincare might do pretty good, but um, I'm not personally interested in it. I have so much skincare, so I'm just not in the market for new skincare at the moment. Um, but speaking of more skincare, there's a new skincare release from Victoria Beckham Beauty. It's the daily cleansing protocol. This has already come out. Oh my gosh, it's $120. It's a f what? It's a face cleanser for $120? How many fluid ounces is this? 3.38? No. It's a cleanser for $120? Victoria, really? How much did this cost to make? Uh, it transform, it's got two transformative steps. First, a cushiony oil cleanser universal formula for dry mature sensitive oily it's just 120 bucks i i personally don't ever think i would spend 120 dollars on a cleanser so oh we get a little bit more teaser to what i talked about last week from nomad cosmetics i don't think this is released yet it literally says guessing will be open until friday february 23rd which was two days ago at 11:59 new york time we'll randomly select the winner and announce by monday okay so tomorrow we should know more all we see right now is malbec and it looks like a winery essentially so new makeup sneak peek i'm assuming it's a palette but it may not be so who knows and then jolie beauty is coming out with something 6 p.m friday what friday this friday two days ago new single product launch is incoming that's all we get. And then Westman Atelier, I bet you, is coming out with lip products. It says vivid color that feels as good as it looks, 227, join the wait list. Um, I actually feel like we did see something on this. I could have sworn I saw a picture of it released other than to like just these lips, but maybe I'm wrong. I'm, I'm assuming it's like lip shades. Anyway, it opens on Tuesday. And then Viseart has launched Cool Mats Slim Pro. It looks like there are three different cool mats right now and they are retailing for $80 a piece. I love Viseart's mats. The last launch that I ended up picking up, I was not overly impressed with, so I didn't pick up their latest launch. I do not need an all matte palette, I don't think. I think I have enough mats in my collection that I just don't need this, especially for $80. But if it's the good old Viseart formula that I absolutely love, because I think their mats are freaking stunning, they're some of the most easiest to work with for beginners and all around, then great. Because their Lotus collection was trash in my opinion. It was just not what I'm used to from them. Yeah, for 80 bucks, I will be passing. Beauty Bay is launching uh, where there's smoke, there's dot, dot, dot. Comes out tomorrow. We can kind of barely see the colors in this. Looks like they're coming out with three different palettes here. So a nine pan, 16 pan, and whatever the huge one is. Brand new palette, it's called Smoky. I mean, it looks fantastic, you guys, it really does. And I'm such a fan of Beauty Bay's formula lately. It, it just looks absolutely stunning. And then Terra Moon Cosmetics is coming out with a bunch more single shadows. It came out yesterday, the 24th at 6 p.m. 
You know, I'm still getting used to the Terra Moon formula because I picked up their Space Chemistry palette. I need to play with that one a little bit more before I pick up anything else from Terra Moon. You know what's hilarious is I feel like they're out of Tampa. Like it came to me the next day when I saw the shipping, I was like, oh, okay, it's just 20 minutes from my house, got it. And then It's Bell Cosmetics is coming out with February 29th at 7 p.m. It's their newest collection called Under the Full Moon. And it's $32, only $32, and you can use affiliate codes to make the palette around $28. Oh, okay. The lip glosses are $15 and the bundle is $60. It's only one palette per order per customer, only one bundle per order per customer. I mean, these look fantastic. Anyway, I've never tried anything from It's Bell Cosmetics, so... I don't, I don't know, I don't want to start with a blue color story. And then the Soleil Summer Collection 2024 from Tom Ford. Mmm, look at that gloss. The Ultra Shine Lip Color in four shades. No, that's not what I'm looking at. It's the Soleil Spark Lip Oil. I don't buy Tom Ford eyeshadow palettes anymore, but this lip oil looks, ooh. Tom Ford and his sparkly stuff. You know, I can just pass. I can pass on this whole collection. I didn't, I don't know. The highlighters are usually too deep. The eyeshadows just don't thrill me. Um, I haven't tried like an actual tinted lip product, but I have tried like the shiny balms. I don't know if I need a shiny lip oil, but it looks great. And then Glow Recipes dropped the Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Hue Drops. So they're kind of tinted, I suppose. For skin that looks healthy and not makeup e. Literally says makeup e. I have talked about their original Watermelon Glow Niacinamide Drops in my Vero makeup that just doesn't work for me. I have just currently panned this. I, I don't find that these do anything for me, but these are coming out. I guess they're available now for app early access. They're probably just available, period. And they do retail for $35. And then Elsie has some plush lip balms that just launched. I did talk about Elsie as being a brand that I wanted to try for 2024. It looks like these are just in two different shades at the current moment. So probably not shades I wanna try and they retail for $24 a piece. This is just not something from Elsie that would make me want to try the brand. Like I wanted to try them for some of their other items, but I wouldn't pick up these new releases. There's a new brand alert, Aurabella, I'm assuming. It's founded by Bella Hadid, Reveal Your Alchemy 5-2. I'm assuming it's a perfume. We need another celebrity perfume line like we need uh, another hole in our heads so no for me then notoriously morbid has got a palette that's releasing i want to say it's already released it's paint the town red this looks absolutely stunning uh to be determined i mean this is just so gorgeous i don't know i don't know this looks so good i've never tried anything from notoriously morbid but this is something that would make me want to try it out. Then from Esom Cosmetics, we have the Artistry Palette number three, Harmony. It's available March 4th, but it's available now for early access on their website. It retails for $80. It's 15 matte pigments. Um, I mean, you can see the shades here. So Artistry Palette, these could be used for a variety of different things. Again, not something that I need. And for $80, I just, I wouldn't get a whole lot of use out of this. Although the packaging looks really good, it just like gives me the vibe of being good quality, but I don't, I wouldn't know. And then Viseart has some more new makeup releases. They launched two new Petty Fours. I, I hope I'm saying that correctly. Someone in my comments like corrected me the way that I was saying it. These retail for $25 a piece. You guys, these look absolutely similar to some of the other stuff that they've released. This is just not and then even I have in my collection, I want to say one of these shades looks identical to a shade I already have in one of their palettes. I'm sure I have these shades somewhere else. So these quads just don't appeal to me. These are just kind of bland and boring. Not what I need to add to my collection. So that is a pass. Lethal Cosmetics is out now. It's our extra dazzling six multi-chrome flakes retailing for 21 US dollars, five multi-chrome hollows, $17, four iridescent trio chromes, $9 a piece. I mean, these look really good, but again, I'm still not convinced. I love Lethal Cosmetics formula. And then it looks like Hard Candy Life. Is this a new makeup release from Hard Candy? Yeah, yeah, it is, okay. It says, makeup sneak peek. Um, what did Taylor Swift, Kristen Bell, and Casey Musgraves all have in common? Uh, Girl Scout cookie lippies, someone said. Being the mom of a daisy, the emojis immediately look like Girl Scout cookies to me. 
Someone else said Girl Scout cookies. Really hope it's Girl Scout cookie. Okay, love that. I guess we know it's gonna be Girl Scout something. Uh, well, we'll have to see what it is. I don't know. And then Bobbi Brown is coming out with some new eyeliners. The cream, the Longwear Cream Liner Stick in five different shades that all look pretty deep. This is a pass for me personally. And then ZC Cosmetics is coming out with Wonderland Glossy Water Lip Tints in collaboration with the British Museum. $8 a piece, three different shades. This packaging is just so darn cute. But I don't love lip stains, so pass for me. And then The Balm is releasing the Talk is Cheek Blush Cream. You guys, The Balm has been silent for so long that I feel like if they had just come out with a cream blush like a year ago or two years ago when everyone else was doing it, we honestly could have put ba The Balm back on the map at this point. Um, these are, yeah, I mean, heck yeah. $16 a piece. They look like incredible shades. The line looks really good. I honestly might pick up three shades because the price here is just really good. And honestly, I like a lot of the balm products. Like they're just honest, they're really, really good. So I, yeah, I'm probably gonna pick up three different shades, two at least. And then Makeup Rituals is coming out with five piece sigil liners. I think that it's what it's called. Liner brush set is perfect for both beginners and professionals who wanna level up their makeup game. With this set in hand, achieving flawless eye looks has never been easier. Doesn't say how much they're gonna retail for, but these are the finest looking little liner brushes. Holy smokes. But never heard of makeup rituals before. Okay, so here's the update to the Westman Atelier. It definitely looks like could be lip liners. It says 10 vivid shades, your choice, launching February 27th. I'm assuming they're lip liners, but they could be lippies. Yeah, could be lippies. I don't know, definitely intriguing. And then Ilia Beauty is coming out with their newest launch. I mean, it doesn't say like what it is exactly. Our newest shade matching tool is here to help you count the days. Okay, this looks like it could be a bronzer stick, which I'm assuming it is because they already have like a blush stick. It'll be available March 5th. And then Ritual Defee has their lab access release, a limited edition creator concealer, ultra high coverage plus plush wear, $20 a piece, which I believe is the discounted price to this lab release. And then it would be a limited edition release after that. I did pick this up. They did send me an email to have access to the lab release. So I'm gonna test this out. When I saw this release, I actually started thinking of how big a fan I am of a lot of their products. I, I do think they do a really good job. Their recent release and their mascara, one of my favorites. It's becoming one of my holy grails. I just like a lot of their products, so I did go ahead and pick this up. And then Cover FX is coming out with two complexion products. So they're coming out with a longwear concealer, which is available now on their website for $21 a piece. I just, I don't know if I'm into full coverage concealers all that much, even though the one from Ritual Defeat is. And I've not tried anything from Cover FX in so long that I just, I don't know that this appeals to me. But on the other side of that, they're coming out with a Radiant Start Tinted Moisturizer for dry skin. Why do the launch like that? This is also available now on their website. It's sheer coverage with mega moisture and even more radiance. So full coverage concealer with a tinted moisturizer, not many shades, it looks like eight shades total. I mean, it goes pretty deep, but if it's sheer coverage, then it won't matter so much, the shade range necessarily. Just weird to me that they come out with so many shades in the concealer and then this like super sheer moisturizer. And then CL, I don't even know how to pronounce it. Cosmetics has a shade extension to their liquid blush. And I don't think I talked about this last week, but it is available on Sephora's website, $34. And I did pick up one of the shades. Yes, I did. They came out with January and June and I picked up June. So this should be here to me, I wanna say on Monday tomorrow, and I'm gonna be doing like a new blush try on. So yes, you don't need to tempt me with a liquid or cream blush. Like I'll just get it anyway. Then a new skincare release from K-Skin, which is the Mobe Mineral Sunscreen Drops with SPF 30. It's meant for all skin types. Currently on the Sephora website, it retails for $36. I just, again, I don't need 
uh, a mineral sunscreen with skincare benefits basically because I already have both of those things so not something that I'm in the market for and then Polite Society is launching their Polite Pops their powder blush in a stick they're launching on Ulta Beauty 310. I cannot say this is not tempting. I genuinely might get one. I don't know. This looks good. Again, like you don't need to, you don't need to overly sell me on blushes. You just don't. And then Glaminatrix Cosmetics is launching Sunday, March 3rd at 8 a.m. or Saturday, March 2nd at 5 p.m. Um, Central Standard Time, the Pretty in Pastels palette. So it's a full pastel palette with some deeper shades at the bottom. This is interesting. Like I'm usually on board with Glaminatrix's color stories, even if they're a little wild, but the deeper shades outside, like there's so much of a jump. Would you even use these shades to deepen with? Like, I don't know. Can you pair these together? I guess you could. I guess it's not bad. Like pastels with deep shades. Like maybe this is nice. $43 though, I don't need pastels. I'm just thinking the color story here kind of makes sense for people who might like pastels but still might like to deepen in the outer corner. And it's kind of like, you know, a gradient, a row of like purples, yellow, green, blue. It's, it's not half bad color story. I just don't need a pastel palette. Holy smokes, you guys. I think I genuinely got through everything that I wanted to talk about today. So I'd love to hear in the comments what you guys are interested in picking up, what you've already picked up. Oh, I literally have to go tame the zoo that's going on downstairs. So anyway, I'm out of here, you guys, and I hope to catch you all in the next video. Bye.